in my previous video, I show you how to create some basic rings, but what if you want to create some pendants using those functions? In this video, I will show you how to make a simple hexagon pizza shaped pendants using important functions. So make sure to keep watching all of the video. All right, guys, let's start to make our pendants. We are going to make an hexagon pendant with our polygon tool right here. Just click on it. It's going to ask us like a few options, like the number of sides and an hexagon has like six sides. Just switch to six, press enter. And let's place uh, the center of our object, which we are going to type zero on our keyboard. Press enter once again. And there is like two mode we can switch uh, from uh, inscribe uh, and to circum uh, scribe. Uh, the difference is uh, simply circum scribe will place the point on the middle of the line, and uh, the uh, inscribe will place the, our points on the intersections. So for this example, let's make a pendant of the size of 30 millimeter and press enter. All right, the next thing we are going to do is to offset our closed curves. We can find uh, the uh, offset tools on the curves tools tab, which is this icon right here, or just type offset on your keyboard. Press enter, select the object we want to offset, and you can see that we can uh, offset to the outside or the inside. And we are going to make a distance of two millimeters. Press two, press enter, and just uh, click on your grid. Now we want to draw some line in the middle to uh, kind of create some pizza slice. And to do this, we are going to use our polyline tool and uh, place, uh, you know, our points in the middle and then uh, uh, go up by holding shift to this intersection right here. And to release it, you have to left click. So we want to make some tubes like that on uh, the middle of our pendants to make some pizza slice. So how we can do that, we have our line here, select it. And do you see this little red arrow? Uh, we are going to press uh, and hold Alt on our keyboard and press on this little red arrow. It's going to give us something like that. And uh, we are going to type one to duplicate uh, this line to the side and just press enter. And we're also going to do this for uh, uh, the other side. And instead of uh, pressing one, uh, you're going to type minus one and just hit enter. So the middle line right now, we don't need it anymore. You can go ahead and delete it. So what we are going to do right now is select our curves and we want to duplicate uh, to place on each intersection of our hexagon to make some uh, pizza slice. So first of all, we're going to switch back to our standard tab and uh, you can see this uh, rotate icon. Let's click on it. It's going to ask us uh, to place the center of our rotation, which is zero and hit enter. And it's going to allow us to place our first angle, which is this intersection right here. And then we can go ahead and place on uh, each uh, intersection of our hexagon. All right, now we are starting uh, to see some result and we are starting to see our pizza right now. However, as you can see, uh, there is some line over here that are overlapping and uh, we are going to take it off, obviously, with our function, which is the trim function. You can find it over here and just click on it and select all of uh, those lines we created. And what it's going to do, it's simply going to trim the excess uh, lines uh, that are on uh, the ends. Once it's done, just press enter. Now we have 12 open curves and what I want to do right now is to join them together to make six open curves. You can see 
uh, the details on uh, the side on our properties windows and then just click on the join button and now as you can see on the side we have like six open curves we are not done cleaning yet as you can see we need to clean those parts and uh, we are going to use another function, another command, which is the split uh, command, which is next to the trim uh, command. Just run the command, and uh, we are going to split our hexagon, uh, press enter, and then we are going to select our cutting object, which is our pizza slice, and then press enter once again. So we still have like those little tiny lines that come off a little bit and to do that we are still going to use our split command. Just uh, run the split command, select the object and uh, press enter, then select our hexagon. Press enter once again and now we can uh, simply delete uh, those little lines we don't need. Once it is done, if uh, we select all our uh, curves we made, uh, you can see that uh, we have 12 open curves and we simply have to join them together. It's really important uh, to have our closed curves because we are going to extrude them. If you extrude an open curve, it will kind of uh, mess up your extrusion commands. Okay, now let's change our view to our perspective mode. Select all of those curves and uh, just extrude them. Extrude, extrude on both sides. And uh, let's make uh, the thickness of our pendant to two millimeters. Press enter. If you switch our view mode to shaded mode, and this is like our pizza pendant. So now what are we going to do? It's create a little ring on the top for our bell. So let's switch back to our top view, select our circle and snap it on top like that and uh, roughly make a circle like this. Move it a little bit on the top and let's change our view to perspective mode and we will simply run uh, the uh, pipe command. Just type pipe, and we are going to make a pipe of the size of one millimeter, let's say, and just press enter, enter again. Let's create a simple bail. So we are going to switch to our right view mode to have a right side view, and uh, we are simply going to take our circle command and we can place it anywhere on this axis, the red line. Just place it over here and make, hold shift and make a, uh, a circle of, uh, of this size, for example. Move it over there. And one thing we can do now, it's create a pier shape out of this circle. To do that, let's uh, turn on our control points, which is this icon, just click on it and we are going to drag the bottom uh, to uh, make a peer cut shape. So here we go, we can turn off our control points. So right now uh, what we can do is uh, to offset these lines. Just set, type offset on your keyboard and offset on the uh, inside. Uh, of uh, the distance of one millimeter, for example, and just click on the grid. Now we can move around and uh, see uh, if it's uh, you know if it's correct, and just play around a little bit, or maybe make it like bigger like that, and uh, until uh, we are satisfied with the result. And now we can go ahead and just extrude those curves, simply like that. Don't worry right now, we are going to change it uh, in a short moment. Okay, so now we are going to reshape our bale uh, to have that V type of shape. 
So uh, we're going to switch to our top view first. And uh, we're going to use our line, this line here, our polyline, and roughly come over here slightly on the bottom. Just uh, eyeball it, like about one millimeter, and then come on to the top right here, just around here, and then uh, release it. So now we are going to offset this curve we just made to the sides. Just that offset. And uh, you, we are going to uh, uh, select uh, the true point option, so we can freely like move our uh, line and just uh, roughly uh, make the line about this distance. So now we can close uh, those curves like that, and now I'm going to select. Uh, all of those uh, four curves and join them together to create a closed curves. Okay, now we have created our closed curves. We can go ahead and extrude these curves by going to our perspective mode and type extrude on your keyboard and make sure that it goes above our bail, then click and the next thing we are going to do is to mirror uh, this uh, surface to the other side by just typing mirror on your keyboard or you can go to transform tab and then you can see this uh, little Christmas tree just click select the object and uh, press enter and then you can press zero to uh, place uh, our axis point and then hold shift and click on the grid just like that so once we are here we can use again our boolean difference command like we did in our past video if you haven't watched it make sure you go watch so uh, you we can type boolean difference directly on our command hit enter select uh, the surface uh, we want to subtract which is our bell right here we want to reshape it and then it's going to ask us uh, press enter first to, uh, the surface we want to subtract with which are these two surface and then just press enter just like that all right now we want to smooth out those edges those sharp edge with our fillet edge command by going to our solid tool and uh, see this function over here, this command, or just type fillet edge on your keyboard. Select the edge to fillet. So those are the edge we want to uh, smooth. Press uh, enter. So first, uh, let's change our ridges. Sorry, make a 0 0.3. Uh, press uh, enter and enter once again. All right, mm. let's do the same thing for uh, the inside, those uh, sharp inside edge by uh, right clicking again, because uh, Rhino has like uh, saved our previous uh, command and uh, just click uh, the lines that uh, we want to smooth. And there is like a hidden edge over here. I'm not sure if I can select it or let me try to select it like that I've got it and then press enter once again it's like that we have like smooth all for those edges like make it a little bit like bigger just like that all right now we have completed our pizza pendant if you have watched it all the way to here, thank you very much. And by watching one video a day, it's largely enough for beginners, but make sure to practice. And if you follow along my course, I guarantee you some high quality results.